All right, we're gonna take this mixture and pour it right over these crackers. Lining up some crackers on my baking sheet. I just have a baking sheet here lined with parchment paper. I'm using these almond flour sea salt crackers. For this recipe, a lot of people use saltines, but I wanna keep this recipe a little bit healthier with better ingredients and also gluten-free. Okay, we have our gluten-free crackers all lined up. Now we're gonna move over to the stove top for a minute for the next step. All right, in our pot, we have one cup of butter. Now I'm gonna add in a cup of brown sugar. I'm using organic brown sugar, and we are just gonna let this melt together. You can kind of stir it every so often while it's melting. All right, guys, that butter is almost completely melted. So we're just gonna let that keep melting and then we're gonna bring this mixture to a boil. So at this point, you wanna be stirring continuously just because we don't want anything to burn. Okay, so I'd say this is boiling now. So we're gonna let it boil for about two to three minutes until it thickens up quite a bit. Is this how you make caramel? I've never made caramel before, but I feel like this is probably how you make it. If you've made caramel before, let me know in the comments. Okay, just about another minute or so. As you can see, it's starting to thicken up quite a bit, which is exactly what we want. Okay, this looks perfect. So I'm gonna turn the heat off the stove. We're gonna move kind of quickly over to our crackers. All right, we're gonna take this mixture and pour it right over these crackers. This is gonna be so good, you guys. I always say in all my videos, I love sweet and salty. So I think this is the perfect recipe for me. Yeah, see, this kind of looks like caramel, right? I'm telling you, I think that's how you make caramel. Okay, so we are just gonna gently spread this over our crackers. It's already starting to set a little bit. So it's coating each cracker. Guys, if this is really how you make caramel, I am so excited because I've always wanted to learn how to make caramel and I think I just did it. All right, it's starting to solidify just a little bit, but that's okay. Now this is gonna go into the oven for just a few minutes at 350 degrees. So I'm gonna put this in the oven real quick. And I'm gonna let it stay in the oven for about three-ish minutes and then we'll see how it is. Okay guys, see how it is bubbling around the edges? That's exactly what you want. So this is ready to take out. It's been about three minutes. All right guys, we wanna move somewhat quickly because we're gonna pour some chocolate chips on here. And we want these to fully melt. So I'm just gonna give these chocolate chips a few minutes to get melty and then I'm gonna kinda spread them out. Just wait and see. All right guys, I let these chocolate chips sit for a few minutes. I think they're nice and melty, so they should spread easily. I'm gonna take my little spatula. Is it my little gingerbread guy? So cute, I love him. Okay, we are gonna spread this. It's working perfect, yay. We're just kind of spreading this chocolate over the top. You guys, the way that this smells, this is just gonna be so good, I can't even tell you. So we are spreading this out. I cannot wait to try this. For the last step, which is optional, I'm gonna add some of these all natural Christmas sprinkles. You guys wanna avoid any sort of artificial dye, so I always look for the natural. Look at how cute this looks. It's so perfect for Christmas. And I think that these gluten-free crackers are gonna be just perfect in this recipe. A Little bit more, you can never have too many sprinkles, right? All right, I'm gonna set this in the freezer for a few minutes to completely set before we break into it. I actually might let it cool just a few minutes before setting it in the freezer. You obviously don't wanna put something super hot into your freezer. So I'm gonna give it a few minutes to cool and then I'll set it in the freezer. All right guys, our Christmas crack is out of the freezer and it's all set. I forgot to tell you guys, this recipe is called Christmas Crack. It's kind of a funny name. So it should just come right off of the parchment paper. <gasps> Look at that. You can see all those crackers. This is gonna be so good. I literally cannot wait to dig into it. So we've got our full sheet here and we are gonna break it into pieces. You can also slice it if you want. Break this piece. This is gonna be so good. It has that nice caramely center with those salty crackers and the chocolate. Oh my gosh, yum. It's gonna be so good. So we're just gonna break these into little pieces. I'm actually gonna grab a plate to set these on. 
So I'm just gonna set all these pieces onto this plate. Okay, so we're just gonna continue breaking apart our Christmas crack. That caramel in there is nice and gooey. This is another really good one that you could put in like a cute little Christmas baggie or in a little box to give away. Look at that caramel. Yeah. We're gonna keep breaking it apart. A few more breaks over here. This part's actually really fun. Okay, a couple more. Okay, here it is. It looks so pretty on this plate. And the moment that I have been waiting for, let's do a taste test. I'm taking this nice big piece right here. All right. Unbelievable. So good.